Hi everyone, and welcome to the first of a three-part video series on how to create a vector illustration using Adobe Ideas and Illustrator. In this first part, we'll go through a brief tour of Ideas and set up our initial sketch. So let's jump right in and open up Ideas. The first screen you'll see is your projects page. This is where all of your Ideas files will be stored. To open up a new idea, we'll just tap this little plus icon at the bottom of the screen. Now before we get started on our sketch, let's take a quick look at the tools Ideas has to offer. The first thing you'll see in your toolbar is the pencil tool. Note that as I draw, Ideas automatically smooths out my strokes. This is because of the vector capabilities of Ideas. Instead of generating raster images created of pixels like Photoshop does, Ideas creates vector images, which can be scaled up or down without becoming pixelated. You can change the size of the pencil tool by tapping the size icon and dragging the slider up or down. And you can do the same for opacity. This will make the strokes more or less transparent. To change the color, tap the color icon and choose from either pre-selected colors or expand the color menu and use HSB or RGB color sliders to refine your color selection. Finally, you can use the eyedropper tool to select a color you've already put down on the canvas. Below the pencil tool, we have the eraser tool. And below that, we have our navigational tools. Right now, the hand tool is selected. This allows us to zoom in and out of the canvas using a two finger pinch or use one finger to move around the canvas. If we tap on the hand tool, we can select the move tool. We'll use this to rotate, resize, or move our artwork around the canvas. And finally, we have our undo and redo buttons. At the bottom of the tool panel is the layers panel. You can see that I currently only have one layer. We'll add a new layer by tapping on this plus icon. You can see that as I draw on this new layer, the layer below is not affected, even when I erase. You can change the opacity of a layer by dragging the slider up or down. And you can change the order of layers by tapping and holding on this handle and dragging the layer up or down. Finally, you can temporarily hide a layer by unchecking this box, or we can delete a layer altogether. A quick note before we go on, Android devices currently do not have the ability to add additional layers. This feature is only available for iOS devices. So now that we're comfortable with the Ideas interface, we're going to start on our sketch. So I'm going to add a new layer and delete the draw layer that we practice on. I'm going to select the pencil tool, choose a small size, reduce the opacity to about 20%, select black, and this will give us a nice pencil-like appearance as we sketch. I'm going to go into full screen mode while I sketch. This will give me a nice clean slate for my drawing. To do so, just tap this little icon in the upper right hand corner. If you ever need to get back to your tools, just tap it again. So I'm going to start sketching, and you can see that I'm not really worried about getting everything perfectly, just trying to get my general idea down. We can go back and clean it up later. So I'm going to keep sketching, and we'll be right back with my completed sketch. All right, so I'm back with my completed sketch. You can see that I've just roughly drawn out my concept, not worrying too much about details or accuracy. We'll take it to a completed illustration in the next tutorial. First though, let's create a color palette that we'll use to complete our illustration. Let's expand our color menu, and I'm going to use HSB color sliders to choose my first color. All right, now that I'm happy with my color selection, I'm just going to tap and hold this color swatch and drag it over into the dock. You can keep doing this until you have a full theme, but I'm just going to use one that I created earlier. So let's say this was going to be your theme. You'd tap and hold your dock and drag it over into the themes menu. All right, so now that we have our theme, we can close our color menu. And there we have it, our completed sketch. So in part two, we'll take this sketch to a finished illustration, and I will see you then.